Hello and very welcome to my video series on mathematical image processing exercise. This is a series of live recordings of my weekly exercise session for a university course at TU Hamburg. The course covered a broad range of mathematical topics related to the field of image processing and my exercises aim at complementing the corresponding lecture series with further mathematical background and application. You find a link to the lecture notes in the video description. These lecture notes also contain the exercises that are designed to go with the course and some of these will be covered in this video series. A further great resource that I warmly recommend is the book by Christian Bredis and Dirk Lorenz. The link to this book is in the video description. You should definitely check this out. Image processing problems have a broad range of applications, including contrast enhancement, denoising and filtering applications, sharpening, edge detection, in painting, segmentation and registration, to just name a few. But don't worry. This will not be a video series on algorithms and how to implement them. On the contrary, motivated by the examples just mentioned, we will deep dive into the mathematics that power these algorithms and have far more applications than just mathematical image processing. Some of the topics that we will be covering in the exercises are the mathematical formalism to describe pictures or images on a computer, histograms and measure theory, morphological operations, convolution of sequences and Banach algebras, Fourier analysis, partial differential equations, and variational calculus and convex analysis. The philosophy of this course and maybe of mathematics overall is the following. Get the fundamentals right before you do the fancy stuff. The fancy stuff being, in the case of this course, implementing some of the algorithms with a programming language of your choice. I will also use Octave from time to time for visualizing certain examples covered in the exercise. Octave comes with a well-documented image processing toolbox and an easy-to-use interface that should allow for a gentle start with processing images. The Octave IDE for scientific programming is a free alternative to MATLAB and licensed under the GPL license. Check out the links in the description to learn more about Octave. If you have a question or something is unclear, I'm looking forward to your questions in the comment section. That being said, have a lot of fun learning the mathematics behind image processing. I hope to see you soon.